Okay, I'm going to have a look at the level two exercise. First one, all you have to do is multiply out the brackets, tidy up, integrate, put in your two, put in your minus two and subtract them. Similarly, in number two, multiply your brackets, integrate, sub your values in. Number two, this one's a little bit different, so we'll take you through this one. Find the area enclosed by this graph. So just my standard process for sketching a graph. Put y equals naught in here. See where it crosses the x-axis. So it crosses the x-axis at minus one and at three. So put that on. But this question's got an extra wee bit to it. It says the lines, or sorry, x equals minus three and x equals three. x equals three there, which is fine. x equals minus three is there. So can you see two distinct areas? This one is between minus three and minus one. I've done it in red. And this one is between minus one and three. I've done it in blue. Process is the same for each. Integrate, sub in your upper value, sub in your lower value, work out the red, work out the blue. Now, remember the blue is under the axis and you're talking about the area, so you treat that as a positive value. So it's 32 uh, over three, add 32 over three. 64 over three units squared. We'll see another one just like that in number three. So it's um, y equals x, x minus one. So you can see the state as normal, put x equals naught. So, sorry, put y equals naught, so x is not and x minus one is not. So x is not and x is one. It's a positive, there we go. And you're told you are between the lines, the x-axis and the line x equals two. So there's x equals two. So two distinct areas. This one is running from naught to one. So look there, naught to one. This one is running from one to two. Integrate, put in the upper value, take away, put in the lower. Put in the upper value, take away, put in the lower. Now if you look here, the blue one is in the negative, so it's negative a sixth. So you write that as one sixth plus the red one, five sixths. Next question we're gonna look at is question four. So it's sketch this curve. So standard process, y equals naught. So that equals not. Pull out your x. That's a difference of two squares. Or you can just do the way I've done it there. X is not for the first one. X squared equals one. So x equals plus or minus one. So this graph crosses at minus one, zero, and one. It's a positive x cubed. Starts low, goes up, and so on. And you're going between um, the lines. The first one is between x equals one and x equals two. So x equals one is there, x equals two is that line. So I'm going to integrate between one and two. Integrate, put in two, take away, put in one. Part three is between minus one and zero. It's the red bit. So minus one to zero. So it's the same integration, sub in the upper value of zero, take away, sub in the lower value of minus one. Working that out. And part four, from your answers, what can you say? So if you look, it is symmetric, uh, by symmetry, the area between x is zero and one is a quarter. The total area is the uh, blue area plus your quarter in there, it's symmetrical, equals 2.5. Question five, sketch this curve here. So if you look at, if I take this line out, put y equals naught, so x is naught, x is minus two, x is three. So x is naught, minus two, three. It's a positive x cubed, so just go up through your points. And you want the area between the axes, split in two. So the first one's running from minus two, focus there, that's better. So the first one's between minus two and zero for the blue area, and the next one's between zero and three for the red area. Just standard, integrate, sub in the upper value, sub in the lower, subtract. Sub in the upper, sub in the lower, subtract. Remember that's in the negative bit of the y-axis, so give that as a positive when you're adding it up. 16 over three plus 63 over four. Number six, find the area enclosed by the coordinate axis and the curve and the line. Oh goodness, there's a lot going on here. So what I'm gonna do, um, first of all, sketch this wee curve. If you think of your x squared graph and then move it forward three, so that's it in there. It's the simplest way of doing that. You have to find the area under this. So you integrate it, 
Now, I am going between the lines, just have a look here. Find it between the coordinate axis and the line y equals four. So if you can see this here green line, the area I am actually looking for, and if I could highlight it through literally the questionnaire, is this bit in here. So I'm going from, I'm gonna find this bit. So first of all, I'm gonna find from one to three to get me this curved bit, okay? The wee rectangle bit is just length times breadth four times one. So I'm trying to get in here, my graph's not very clear, but basically I'm going from one up to three of this curve. So you integrate it, put in your three, put in your one, subtract them, and then your total area is your four for the rectangle plus your curve, which is this bit together, giving you 20 over three. If you're not getting that question, I wouldn't worry too much about it because it's very tricky. And the last question we've got to do. So we've got this curve here. Right, let's forget this bit. Put y equals um, zero. So x is zero, that's the difference two squares. So x is two and x is minus two. It's a negative x cubed, so down and up and down. And you want between the axes, so it's these two bits here. So minus two to zero, you do that once, then do it zero to two. Zero to two. Integrate, put your values in for each bit. Remember, this is a negative one here. So whenever you're in the total area, do it as a positive. Never go from minus two to two. When it's a split area, always do it in the two bits.